Hi, uh, I'm Bob Hyatt at the uh, 2012 PEI show in Las Vegas. I'm here with Keith, one of our distributors, and we're about to look at the new 71SO testable uh, fill limiter. Uh, as I was saying, Keith, uh, one of the things that we've done is installed a, a stainless steel cable that comes down and connects to the flute, and it comes up inside uh, the, um, the riser, and if you were to look down inside the riser, you would see a nut that a 3 8 inch extension will set right into. Uh, when it's secured and tight, it uh, saves the vapor path and uh, the vapor space inside the, uh, the tank so your pressure decay test won't be affected. Uh, and if you loosen this nut um, with the socket extension, pull up on the uh, uh, socket extension, you'll see that the flapper will move into the, the product flow. Uh, and the way the 71SO works, once it's in the product flow, the weight of the product slams it shut, uh, it, which would uh, represent a uh, fill limiting. So uh, the testable function for us is to lift up on the uh, the cable and verify that the flapper moves into the flow of the product and at that point we've uh, ensured that the, the float inside the tank is on and attached and functioning and the flapper is functioning and at that point we have a good uh, fill limiter. Now are you dropping fuel at this time? No, You're, this is just a visual test okay. to meet the requirement of verifying the functionality of your fill limiter. Okay. But you're not actually trying to stop this flow? No, not okay. at this time. You're just verifying that the fill limiter will function. And so it, I assume that saves money and time. Is that the benefit there? Yeah, it, it uh, eliminates the requirement to remove the fill limiter. Um, and a lot of them will potentially be damaged in the efforts of trying to get them in and out of the, uh, of the riser. So this. Uh, saves the customer money and uh, end time.